Right now I'm with uh, Natasa, one of the best uh, social worker in the United States who has just started on big project in Nepal after the massive earthquake of 2015. The project named Sang Sang, which is aimed to build one of the massive villages that, uh, that's uh, located in Lamsung, Raina's coast. Now she has completed one village and we're working for the end of the project. Hi Natasa. What is the thing that you made uh, walk from Nepal? Um, it actually felt like it happened to my own place, my own people, even though I'm not from Nepal. But I lived there, uh, you know, uh, starting in 1995 for one year, and then another year in 98. And I have such a deep attachment to the country and the people that I know there that it, it actually felt like my own family was in trouble. And how you started your work in Nepal? Well, it started with um, one of the people that I know from there, Vivek Kumar Pandit. He and I were talking about the earthquake. He was in India, and so he also couldn't reach people in Nepal. I couldn't reach people in Nepal, and we started talking. And he said he was going to be delivering relief supplies himself. He was leaving from India. Yeah. And so it just started with $100 that I oh, sent. Just $100. Yeah. And now you have already finished one place. Well, we're almost it's finished. 37 houses? No, it's uh, 14 houses and two 14, community buildings. 14. Yeah. Why you choose the place, Rhinosco, to for the, for the reconstruction? Uh, is he, there any connections or is there any sentimental relations? Or? Well, he's from Namjoon. Oh, you're, and Rhinos you're part Rhinos, of Nepal? Yeah, Vivek is from Namjoon. And he was out delivering the relief supplies. Yeah. And he went to the village and the villagers all requested help with rebuilding. And, so, um, and then also there was a man named Krishna Olia who has a NGO in Namjoon. And he has a long relationship with those villagers. So uh, the two of them were there and they talked to the villagers and then came back and, and explained the plan to me. What was your feeling having in Nepal for the first time? Uh, it was like a different world to me compared to um, where I had grown up and what I was used to. Did you have any connections on, on the time after returning from, from Nepal? How you have been connected with Nepal in the during 20 years? It, I used to send letters actually, but then in the age of the internet, it's rather easy to communicate with people in Nepal. You have social media or email, or you know now we can just make a phone call on Viber or something, yes, and, or Skype or. Yes, the technology makes very closer to people yeah, from yeah. around one place to another. Yes. yes. What is the Sung Sangai? Can you explain the Sung Sangai? That Sung Sangai names uh, from Nepali in English, it's together. And uh, Natasa, who started this project, Sung Sangai, with the Nepalese name, this is the remote city where we are, we are making this video here. And uh, I would like to tell you that this is Manhattan. All of the people from around the world wish to be here. But a lady from Manhattan or New York started this project, Sung Sangai, to Nepal a country that's this developed. What's the thing that inspired you to, to keep the name, Nepal's name for the project? Well, it actually, we started the project, I came up with the name Fun for Namjoon. Oh, yeah. But we're working in other places um, after Lamjoon, so we needed a name to reflect that. And actually, Vivek had an organization in Nepal for six years called Sang Sangai. So together, Sang Sangai, which means together, actually really reflects the way that we work because we're working together with the villagers and also we're working together with um, the team in Nepal, the team here, the American donors and then also the Nepali community in the United States have also been donors and um, helpers to support the project. So it's many, many people together who, you know, creates this the success of the project. I used to say it takes a village to build a village, but actually the amount of people it takes is more like a city.